Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here, and today I'm sorry, it's Monster Legends week, so we have all the leaked events for this week, as well as the main event for next week, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the main event for next week is a brand new bounty hunt with this new monster right here, and he actually looks awesome, I do love this design so much, it is a really, really cool looking design. So yeah, definitely go ahead and try to get this monster out of the bounty hunt, I believe he will cost money, so if you don't want to spend money, you can't really get him, but if you want to spend money, go ahead and get him. And now let's move into this week's events. Alright, so Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are all exactly the same. They all have the marathon, two paths, and then a breeding event. The only difference is that Monday and Tuesday both have the Princess Ball and Azogen paths, and then Wednesday and Thursday have the Rebel Frost Soka and the Love Struck paths. So yeah, definitely make sure to look into all of these monsters and see which ones you want to get. I prefer Princess Ball and Love Struck, but Rebel Frost Soka and Azogen are decent as well. And then definitely also make sure to do the Cory X Kenshin breeding if you like the YouTuber Cory X Kenshin. That will end on Thursday and it is definitely worth looking into since he doesn't come back very often. And then of course the Shamashot Marathon is perfect. Definitely do that. Get a bunch of free mythics, get free food, get a bunch of free stuff. Just do that. And of course in order to do that you do need a team so join a team for that. And then a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday have the McCantor Tales, the Collector's Breeding, and then Saturday and Sunday have the Eternal Bastet and Powflow Paths. So the Mechantor Tales is great. You can start collecting tokens for that right now. You just can't get the monster until Friday. So that is definitely worth doing. Definitely make sure to get as many tokens as possible before the event starts. And then the Collector's Breeding is great for getting some monsters for books. It'll actually have a bunch of monsters for a specific book. So you can go ahead and try to complete that book. And then the Eternal Bestead and Powflow Paths are pretty great as well. You can get some free mythics. Yeah, just look into both of those, see which ones you want to get, and then go and get the one you want. Or get whatever one you you need for books. And yeah, those are all of the leaks for this week as well as the main event for next week. The main ones you want to focus on are the breeding events, the main challenges, which are the marathon and the tailless challenge, and then maybe the paths if you need any of those monsters for books or anything like that. And yeah, that is what we have for this video. Let me know down in the comments which events you are most excited for. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.